to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Today's the day, James. What? Today's the day. I don't get FOMO very often. Fear of missing orphans. Because <laughs> you're missing always out. there. Yeah, they're always there. They're always there. No, you're always at the thing. You don't have fear of missing out because you just go to it. No. <laughs> There's certain things in life where you can't get, where you're just like, oh, man. Oh, really? Yeah. I okay. would like a restored Bronco from the 60s. I can't get that. Okay. Yeah. You're not missing out. You just I are, feel like I am. I feel like I'm missing out on a, going, on a great time, you know. You can work towards that. Yes. Uh, no, of course. You uh, look, anybody can always work towards everything and I do. Like I am working towards that. Right. However, it's when you can afford something. Uh-huh. But you know you can't get it because it will affect your daily life and possibly your business. That's when I I get the the most fear of missing out. And what is it? <laughs> it's the razor phone, Jesse. Oh, that's right. You peed and pooped your pants yes. when you saw. Full evac. <laughs> full evac. Both pee and poop on the couch. Yep, we call it a full evac. I was like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And then you just showed me the picture of the razor phone folding the old school keyboard. Oh, man. Not only did I show you the picture, I showed you the video because it, uh, it, they had a trailer for it. Yeah, you have to. Oh, man. I So I, I looked at the price tag. The price tag is massive, right? It's 1500 bucks. And then Dan, was, we, we were at a speaking engagement yesterday, reminded me on the way back. He goes, hey, man, the phone you have is $1,500. And I was like, oh, that's right. Yeah. But you do those stupid payments, you know? Monthly, right, so you so. don't think of it that way. No, I never do. And it's like, oh, it's just part of my fucking bill. But I had a question. Is it, it's not Apple, right? So it's Samsung or something? It's so- not Apple. What is it? You is it his own? You can get it at Verizon. Ver- no, it, but it, so it, I looked everything up on it last night. Because I seriously debated it. Right. It is, it falls under the Android category. Uh-uh. Mm. We can't. Mm. Can we? We can't, oh. dude. We cannot have mm. that nonsense in our house. Mm. Although um, the pictures are way better than the iPhone. Always have been. I, I, Do you I wonder, remember our friend I that know. had that no, Android? No, no, no. And it was like yes. every single time. They take great pictures. But I wonder if this phone is the same and like I maybe I'll do this. Because I did see that it was available through Verizon, which we have. Um by the way, I'm not promoting Verizon. I actually fucking hate them. And I will probably switch to AT and T very, very soon. Big Again, surprise. every two years I just switch back and forth because it's something is shitty about one, and then not the other. And uh, my uh, my problem is big events. I can't get these goddamn things to work. I can't even call my family. Um, nothing. And I could rant about Verizon forever, but they were connected with this phone, saying we will have these available on Verizon. And I was like, ah, oh, maybe I should just. Stop it and see if I can make this work. And I'm trying to force this in my mind to make this work, right? Um, but everything we do in this life, production-wise, mm-hmm. is Apple. Right. And I needed to talk to a friend about it yesterday. Um, just, you know, obviously not a wife. Uh, uh, just a friend, a dude friend. I needed to have a bro conversation. I had a bro conversation with it. And I was like, hear me out on why I want this. Okay, and then what it it could do for me or whatever, and um, it all came back to business of like, hey man, no, like the Dropbox, the saving, the transferring, the cords, the I mean, it's just all of it, and I'm like, God damn it, man, I just, I really do, really do, Jabe's want to be rich enough to have a fucking, you know, I, you know. If you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, subscribe. We're on the Drinking Bros podcast channel now because both shows have combined for the new media network. Subscribe and look at the look on my face and the seriousness in my eyes when I say this. You will know that I've made it. I am rich. And I don't, I, I'm, I'm rich enough to not care about anything anymore. If mid-show, I just, I say, 
Excuse me. And then I pull out my razor. Yep. You'll know Flip then. Flip it open. Yep. Yep. Gosh, just that alone oh. is so nostalgic to me. Wait. Like, I would love oh. a click open. Wait, wait. This gets so much better. It is the same thinness as the old one, they said. Same exact mm-hmm. thinness as mm-hmm. the old one, too, where it just, yep. and it fits in your pocket. And you're like, oh, my God. Yes. A small little, almost like a a tiny wallet. Right I now, mean, I'm carrying a fucking brick around in my jeans. I did a speaking engagement yesterday, right? Um, got paid for my importance because I'm awesome. Anywho's, people were firing off pictures from the crowd, and I saw a bunch of them on Twitter and things like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Softworks. They're fucking awesome. Anyways, I could see the outline of this gigantic phone in my jeans and everyone else's. Mm-hmm. We're all doing the same stupid shit where it's just like, oh. I'm carrying around a fucking iPad in my jeans. Right. And then that Razor trailer dropped, and I just dropped to my knees. Then mm-hmm. it dropped. I dropped. Um, dropped to my knees. I started crying. And yeah. It was very Jerusalem, Wailing Wall type sitch, where I was just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, please, can I just have a Razor? It's lots of pee and poop. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then here, here's where this con- combo went. Like, here's how deep I took this, because this means so much to me in my life. Mm-hmm. About not, I, I'm not a big fan of using social media and phones or whatever. Good at it, um, but I don't re- particularly like it because I don't want to spend that much time on my phone. Mm-hmm. Really don't. Right. If I didn't have to work, I wouldn't. And I even broke it down to the Instagram thing, like the apps wise, with with my buddy. I just said, "Hey man, but Instagram's changing. People are already lighting up the feed, saying my likes have disappeared, and they're posting the pictures of it. It's fucking weird, by oh, the way. Oh, I haven't." S- I just updated. When was it? <laughs> this week. This it's week. going on now, yeah. It's probably now, but you know, that's how much I notice. Right, which is great. You don't have to worry about that. And it's awesome, and I'm super jealous of you in that regard. And I looked at their feeds, and there's, they're screenshotting it, so now it just says, liked by whoever your, you know, your buddy is, like your close friend, and then, and then all it says is, and others. Liked by your friend. It does say a friend, though? One friend. And then it just says, and Why others. Why that? I, I don't wonder. Know. I guess to, to keep it legit. I thought they were just taking it away completely. No. So it's still there. And then on your side, so for you personally, Jesse, if you post something, right? Mm-hmm. I can see it. You can see your own likes. Mm-hmm. You will not be able to see other people's. Got it, and got this got is it, slowly rolling out across America oh, right okay. now as we speak. And people and- are asking one another, has it happened to you yet? And I was like, well, Fuck. One of my major reasons for not getting the razor was I was worried about Instagram and worried about posting. And, and I was like, chick? Because now I'm in the same boat as everybody else, which is great. I, right. I don't need to fucking concentrate on my likes. I can post whatever I want all goddamn day. Right. And that actually stopped me from posting more in the past because I was like, Ugh, maybe this post won't get enough likes. Right. And business-wise, mm-hmm. sponsors and everybody else who looks at your shit all goddamn day for social media is like, oh, can you post this? Mm-hmm. Be great to just, you know, how many likes did that get? Dead yeah. serious. I had this conversation with a sponsor yesterday. We were like, they were like, hey, did you post something? Whatever it was, like two months ago. And I said, yeah. I tagged the company and I tagged, like, we're all good all the way around across the board. And we're like, thanks. We just, we just needed a log how many likes it got. See if this will work for other clients. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, yeah, you could have just gone to that feed and checked it, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, they did and they were happy about it. Now, ta-da, they're not going to have a way to know unless I screenshot it on my end. Right. And then here was the other conversation we had is if you were going to ask me for a screenshot as an advertiser, I could just fake those likes and I could really drive up the price if you wanted. Yeah. Well, unless you have to send them a screenshot, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I get art department guys that we work with shit all day long. We have a new logo. They're the best. They could easily... That is the easiest thing they can do is just like, oh, yeah, how many likes do you want, man? Right. <laughs> I'll put that in for you. That takes them 10 seconds. I, I, can, I can Photoshop that out in 10 seconds. I can lie to everybody if I wanted to. I don't right. want to. Right. <clears throat> but I could. I have the option to. And if you're an influencer out there and this was your living for a while, and this is a lot of people's livings um, that we've met personally through this show and then the other show, um, what's to stop you from doing that? If you have a bunch of followers, you can be like, eh, yeah, I posted your shit. Um, yeah, 50,000 likes. Like I said, I think they're working on how to sell that back to you. They I think are. Milo said that too. Well, which the, I no, was no, like, no. Oh, okay, cool. It, they are, uh-huh. but they're selling it back to you, not everyone else. 
Um, I there's got to be a thing where you can pay to have it shown or some something. There will be something. It won't be for a while, right? So but they are working on. Everybody's going to be sure. in limbo for now. Luckily, I'm not. We're not depending upon likes and that type of shit for whatever. Um, but <clears throat> you know. It's happening, and it's now, so I was like, eh, razor? I can add that to the bro category. That doesn't matter. The no. pictures, you're right. You're always right on that, Javes. Android takes better pictures. They really do, yes. unfortunately. Every time we go out, whoever has the fucking Androids, get, they win. They have the best picture of, of the group, the people, the whole shit. But what Check. is the first thing that goes through your head when you see someone with an Android? Uh, it's not that. Uh, so the first thing that goes through my head is green text. And I think white trash. Stop being poor. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. And I told that to a group of people. We were with some of the brightest minds in America yesterday doing these speeches. Mm -hmm. Can't believe we got asked to make one, to be honest with you, but pretty fucking hilarious. Um, It was like people from like Google and Facebook and like all they do is tour around doing Mm -hmm. speaking engagements about businesses and social media experience and all that other shit and i was just like what the fuck am i doing here um podcast is what i was invited right. for uh, right <clears throat> anyways um with that we had this conversation up in the there was a green room that was set up for us it was super nice we had this conversation of like hey what's the first thing you think of when this text pops up as green is i had just sent something to somebody else to order something and they were like oh everybody in the room all of them were like oh stop being poor mm. And I was like, no, a Razer phone is now as much as a fucking iPhone. Yeah. Um, so. so now if you see someone with a Razer, yeah. you can be like, oh, you rich? <laughs> Ooh, you're rich? Ooh, you lich? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, you went to college? Yeah. Right? It's going to be a so, whole new world, oh, friend. It's going to be a whole new world. Boy, why can't you just use a, a universal color code, though, is what I don't understand for that, you know? What do you mean? Text messages, man. Why isn't it all uh, blue or green? Like, that's a, it seems like a, a class thing, like a... Well, Apple does that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So you're never going to stop Apple But why, from... what do they buy, the blue patent on it? No. Everything that they do is systematic in making their product elite and nothing else can be compatible with it that is their whole mission but if i'm statement. android copy it just copy it it's a it's a color you can't patent a color it must be something on because I, it's I will, on apple's side <clears throat> android so, can try all they want but it's apple's phone that makes it come up that be, way because of how shitty verizon is when I go to these areas that I bitch about, right, um, and I can't, I don't have service or whatever, I usually end up sending a message apologizing that I can't talk to you mm-hmm. or our kids or whoever it is, right? And, it's, and it seems shitty, but if you notice, it always comes up as green. Mm-hmm. You know why? It does not go through the other way because the network fucking sucks dick. And then, yeah. it, you know, it's like, oh, would you like to send this as a text message? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, I would. Any form of communication. If you had a way to shoot a fucking courier pigeon out of the back of that goddamn phone to get a message to my family that would be great right i don't really give a shit yeah i don't care how you send it so therefore apple clearly doesn't have a patent on a color because i i can send out green text as well if i'm android i sit down and i'm like hey man are we fucking looking poor let's change this shit to all blue man that way no one knows iMessage yeah it's iMessage so like i'm telling you it's on apple's side Mm. So Only- Apple makes any other product that you're trying to use on their to come through as their on their phones as green. If I'm if I'm Android, I only accept it as blue and then pop it out to the the people as blue. Gosh, it really doesn't work that way, but that's I, sh- I understand what you want, but yeah, yeah. I know it should, but Apple I understand. They're it. very smart. Are they, they, are they not? They, aren't. they are and they aren't. Um Steve Jobs what did he really do? You know? I know. Look like, at their fucking bullshit TV channel that's, that's you know, got six people watching it. Did he do that? No. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like he did. Right. From the grave. You know, I feel like yeah. they've got a, I feel like it's like Silicon Valley. They've got him frozen away somewhere, mm-hmm. and they've already revived him in some hologram form. He's, he's pulling all the levers over there. Right. And, um, you know, we just don't know about it yet where it's like, oh, 
Because they do have a bunker there at Apple. You know that, right? What do you mean a bunker? A secret bunker. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I expect nothing less, by the way. Only 12, I think only 12 people have access to this bunker there. I'm sure. And they go in there very few times a year, but it's for these meetings that no one else is allowed to go in. Yeah. And uh, I think that's to turn on the fucking, they, they've got a, a frozen coffin of jobs hooked up to a hologram. And then they sit around and they're like, all right, Steve, what do we do here? That or is it just his head like in fluid? Walt Disney has that. Yeah. But it's like connected to, well, you know, Walt to froze his head and he, he wants to come back to life, which, look, we made fun of that forever. Now he's probably a fucking genius. Um, look, Disney Plus is out. 10 million subscribers on the first day. The first day. You didn't tell me Walt's head didn't have something to do with that. I hooked that motherfucker up, dude. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Put a dancing Mickey next to it. <laughs> Here's how we win. Uh, mm -hmm. The other one, look, that Steve Jobs has, has failed at because I think he's still alive now. Mm -hmm. I think he brought, was brought back to life. Um, Apple News. Now, you and I talked about this. Uh, this article came out this morning. Apple News has struggled to add subscribers since its first week launch in March. Um, they have only signed on. <laughs> well, actually, I'm sorry. They signed 200,000 subscribers to Apple News in the first 48 hours. But it's been stuck in neutral ever since. By comparison, uh, Apple Music, the top 60 million subscribers mm -hmm. um, four years after launch. You're, this, we talked about how shitty this news thing was. Bro, why? Is that the thing on your phone that pops up? Yeah, like, and it's like, oh, here's the top story of whatever. But I've like, already watched it yes, on the news. A thousand times. So I've already seen on Twitter. Yeah. I've already seen on every other avenue. Now you're going to give it to me nine hours later. And like in a text message yeah. kind of form. Yep. And I'm like, oh, crap. And then it's just like, oh, in talks with Ukraine about blah, blah. And I'm like. I block that shit, homeboy. Did you? Hell yeah, I did. Oh, I don't know how. <laughs> yeah. I haven't <laughs> but received look, a I notification from right. Apple in seven years. Oh, cool. I don't, I, I don't even use Surrey. I block Surrey. I don't even need to hear that bullshit going off. <laughs> I think I had to unblock it because <clears throat> I was trying to do something with your car connection. Mm. Oh, so was you that might, you? You might have to re. God damn it. Because the, the Apple CarPlay asked me to enable it in order for it to work on your thing. Mm -hmm. So I think it could it be again. part of me too. Where like I just say I'm sorry to so many people throughout the day that it's like, what? Would you like to? Directions? No, I'm not saying sorry. I'm saying I'm sorry. Okay. Do you say you're sorry a lot? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. What, to who? What were you talking about? What were you saying? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. remember your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to be late. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am really sorry about forgetting, forgetting yep, the everything that you've asked me to get. <laughs> Uh, I, it's, it's so bad that you text message me everything now. Um, even then I still, that's not bad. You fuck just it up. asked me to do that. So I did it. No, I know. But I, I, even then I fuck it up sometimes or I wander aimlessly throughout the store and you're like, man, what took you so long? I couldn't find that stupid fucking thing, whatever it was. And that's usually followed by another. I'm sorry. And I, long story short, I'm sorry for a lot of things. And, uh, mostly it's mental. You know, because I got a lot going on. Therefore, I don't want Surrey popping up every half hour in my life. Sir, would you like to know when the Michigan game is? No, I know it's a fucking new. Does it call you sir? Yeah, something. Something. Oh, hello. Yeah. Doesn't do that to me, ma'am. Doesn't say ma'am. Yeah, whatever it does. Um, right. Again, I don't know. Really mine, on mine only says, I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Uh, is the only thing that Surrey has ever said to me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry I didn't catch that. Yeah. Well, uh, either way, the news thing's a bust. This TV show th it thing is going to be a bust. Um, the music thing was, was great. Uh, that was genius of them. Oh, my God, it's amazing. It's amazing. We use it all the time. I love it. I, 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 I can't recommend it enough. Billie Eilish's new single came out. How was it? It's okay. I didn't think she was that. But Blammo, I got to just listen to it. Right away, straight away. Search it right away. Listen to it right away. Yep. Critique it right away. Make my decision right away. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, it's okay. Uh, Apple Music is great, and I think it is. 
I think it's superior to Spotify. Um, and I love it. it. That was probably one of the greatest things I've ever done. Uh, the subscription thing with the phone. If they're going to do that, that's a great move for them. Um, yeah. The TV station is dumb. The news, they should have just bought Netflix. The news thing that is bombing today is zero surprise. Uh, if you want to could have bought Twitter. They have, you know, Twitter. they're the richest company. They have the most cash available in the world. Who? Uh, Apple. Mm. They have $3 trillion. That. Yeah, I believe uh, that. So for American companies, they're the richest. Yeah. As far as most cash in the bank. Mm. Now, you would say, hey, Ross, Amazon. Amazon spends a lot of their money and they throw it back in on other shit. Space stations. Yeah. Fucking. So I. He it, personally is like the richest person in the world, but I yeah. don't know about the company. The company having, itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and same with Elon Musk. He, you know, reinvests and does rockets and all kinds of bullshit. Um, but they have enough money to buy Netflix. They have for years. They should have done that. They didn't. Um, the news thing. You, you want to buy Twitter? Good luck. They cannot figure out advertising. You could throw a bid in for about 80 bucks and buy Twitter. You could have that too, man. I don't understand if you're Apple what you're just sitting on this hoard of cash for for no reason whatsoever other than to give me a fucking shitty blue text message or green so it divides our country even further. They're definitely more concerned with being the elite than they are with being like, again, if, doesn't it feel like they have a lot of pride, Apple, in that they can't buy Netflix? They need to show that they can do it better, right? Yes. I just think of Apple as this, like, I personify it a lot of times, where mm -hmm. it's like, it's just this really elite, stuck-up, delusional, older guy. Yeah. And Okay, boomer! Right. And he just cannot, like, get with the times. Yeah. He, he has to be like... It, it literally reminds me of the guy from Hooli on Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. And I hate Although to keep referencing Google, that show. Right? Well, I, it's, it's all of them. Is he supposed to be Google? I guess. It's yeah, all he's of them, right? Because like, the, the, the guy from Hooli on that show is like, oh, what are they doing? Well, let's just start that. Let's yeah. just do that and buy that. Or let's just do but it. But like you guys, the dongle, the earbud things that are just like, are you kidding me? Yeah. There's all these things that if someone that wasn't this personification of apple if just a random guy came up to you on the street and yep. proposed these things to you you'd be like get out of here loser do you yeah. know what i mean oh, that's yeah, 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 stupid yeah. yeah why can't why why not you know how many times that dongle has fucked me over <laughs> yeah both of us uh, and it's just like there's i 90... finally have my own <laughs> remember when we oh, were God. going back and forth it's the worst and we I'm had like... to have one for the phone cord for doing recording i mean it was insane because i refused to go out and buy this stupid fucking dongle uh jamie our producer we had this argument yesterday over we're getting a new computer for the office here for our editor um and it's laptop versus desktop right we travel a lot. We probably need to get the laptop like after thinking about it last night and talking about it um, <clears throat> with everybody in the company. And it was just like, all right, uh, there are, I, what's, what's the strengths and weaknesses of them? And Jamie, you said it was about even, right, between the laptop and the desktop? Yeah, I would say, right? Yeah, yeah for, 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 what, we for what we do as a production company, right? My, my, <laughs> my very first question, I was like, ah, oh, great. And that's, they're bigger, they're like 16 inches. It's fine. Um, my first question was, hey, man. Does that have USB ports? Or do I have to have a fucking dongle? What dongle. would you say, Jamie? Ah, uh, a but new USB-C. But they USB are going C. that way, right? So everything is actually going the way of, in, I know. In what, three years, five years? So now all the employees are going to have to say, hey, man, do you have that dongle? Do you have that fucking dongle? Or when we, every time we go on the road, ah, uh, do you have that dongle? Because it's not the same as the phone dongle. It's another thing, right, Jamie? Mm -hmm. It's a lightning but it's an, it's another that's another thing. 80 bucks. Yeah. 80 bucks he just said. It's another thing of of plugging nine things in of like, oh, Apple, we're that's superior. Apple. But also what you have connected to it is going to look like a, a heaping pile of shit. Uh that even the new desktop, you know, you can get the one and it's it's just a giant circle that looks like, you know, C3PO and it's called a trash can, right? What what they call it now? Uh, it, but it's it, the last one was called the trash can, and that connects to your desktop. And it was like, what? Why the fuck would you call it that? This is my wife the garbage dump? Like, would never why say, did you that. say that. Exactly. You could name it anything. Why would you use that as like? <laughs> well, 
if it's something that is expensive you and you love. You just wanted to say it. No, if it's something expensive and you love. You like, wanted to get your, away with it. Your life. Um. Well, I said it. Can you um, can you just isolate that clip for me, please, so I can um, keep playing it back to him and to all my friends? No, Jesse, it's something no. in my oh, life. No, this is my wife. That means a lot to me. Sure, and that is sure. You, and it's like, oh, uh-huh. Hey, man. Hey, man. It's just, it's, this it's, is my wife. Yeah. <laughs> the the tr- garbage. The dump. garbage dump. Fun, huh? This is a fun game. <laughs> the, yeah, that's right. The grater. Uh, the new Mac Pro looks like a cheese grater. That, the thing that... The, the desktop, right? Yeah. Well, yeah so it's I like, mean, look. Either way, what I'm saying is this, Apple. <laughs> get your fucking shit together. Sorry for this rant. Please. They won't, though. No, they won't. But We've I, been having I this... want to say it. I want it out of my mouth and no, out of I my know, system. No, but we have, we have had the show for... For three years? Uh, two and a half, yeah. Two and a half, 450 something. Whatever. Whatever shows. Yeah. I finally got on the logo. New logo. We'll talk about that in a second. But finish your thought. <laughs> gender gender wage gap inequality solved. Ross we solved Patterson it. did that. Remember, breaking we the glass We solved it. All it takes, ceiling. ladies, is two and a half years and, and every and... second of your life. And Yep. And you can be equal. And you can be equal. A little man. bit smaller and off to the side. Absolutely. <laughs> You're huge. I'm not huge. On thankfully. The logo. Yeah, yeah, on the logo. Can you imagine you made me huge? Well, I didn't want to do that. Ooh. I took the fucking bomb. That would on that be hilarious. One. My yeah. face is stretched right by yours. <laughs> they stretched out mine. And you're like <laughs> <laughs> peeking around me like a freaking blimp <laughs> or something. That's what I wanted. <laughs> But hey, I'll take this one. I actually love the logo. Anyway, you said you were going to get into it. But uh, we don't need to say much more than that. But it's a fun thing that it pops up now. This is a dream. It was a dream of mine. Like I'm, I've been doing this and behind the scenes and everything for this long because I love podcasts. And I just having my face on a podcast that's out there. It's like, that's amazing to me. Yes. And the other part about it is it, it, that logo goes on every show. So it's on yeah. all 400 and whatever. Um, like maybe my dad will listen now. You know what I mean? Right. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not until <laughs> I'm just joking, Dad. Yeah, technology is not there yet. Uh, is, he, is he listening to podcasts? Yeah, he listens oh, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Apple, get your shit together. By Netflix, by Twitter, stop doing this stupid bullshit. They won't though. And like, oh, what I was saying was, we had this exact conversation in like the first 20 episodes, I think, or 30. The same thing of like Apple, what the fuck, dude? Like, I think that was first when the dongles came out or the AirPods something. We had this exact conversation and we will do to the end of time because they want this kind of conversation. It's like that Starbucks bullshit, right? Where they do your name wrong so that you talk about it. Well, so you take a picture and post it. Yeah. Yeah. So Apple wants us to have these conversations about like how shitty and then we don't we buy it? Do you have it? Do you have the dongle? Does Dan have the fucking air? I mean, we have all the shit. Yeah, I will say this though. We go up there and we buy it. So let me let me let me ask you this. So because there they is, win. There's one thing I switched off in my life finally that was like Apple to me. And that was Nike. Stopped. Oh, I just me too. Okay, so how do you feel about it? Um, I feel good. I let I so I've been wearing Adidas and shit for I would say eight months now, nine okay. months. I've had not. I've been a Nike kid my whole life, right? Jordans. Me too. Uh, all of it, man. Um, Doesn't Nike I, make the uniforms for like Ohio, Ohio State? State? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, they make it for most college teams. So there's, okay, there's a that's what I mean. But yeah, yeah. Um, but as far like that, yes, and also by the Ohio State stuff. As far as shoes, that was a big one for me. And yeah. then like, look, Adidas has always made the best fucking gym pants, so I'm cool with that. Uh, but the shoes, I wasn't sure of. I've been really, really fucking happy with their shoes. Yeah, me too. So I'm off of that. I'm off of that tit. I mean, I went to a, where'd I go the other day? Where did you go? Sporting goods. Where'd I go? Oh, God, this is a, this is a fun thing. In our you household. always make me do this. Dicks. 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 And I'll be like, every oh, time I'm going to go to Dicks. Yeah, every where? time. We have one sporting goods store in this town, and it's Dicks. And I say, I always, every time you're going there, I always make you say it to me out loud. Yeah. And you get so embarrassed by it. It's super fun. Where are you going? So I went to Dick's. Yeah, so, but say that again. Dick's. Yep. 
Yeah, so you make me dicks. say it louder and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm going to dicks. Yeah, it's fun. It's real fun. Yep. I hope it never ends. Um, ever. Me neither. Yeah. So anyways, I was walking. <laughs> <laughs> so they put Nike in the front. Obviously, it's like Apple. It's yeah. a superior product. Yeah. They put it in the front. Great. I mean, all new, awesome stuff. But Nike? Yep. Yeah. Passed by. Yeah. Went to Adidas. And I'm happy with that. Yeah. Um, and more and more stuff is coming out about Nike and how they treat their athletes and all of this stuff. So it's enough, right? Started with one thing. Yeah. We're, I think it's enough now, right? That we can be done with it. It's just, man, it's hard sometimes. So now, again, back to the razor thing. Like, do I just switch and just say, hey, I'm not part of the problem anymore. I'm part of the solution. Gosh, I mean, that would just have to be something that Fuck, you... Fuck, I probably couldn't get Apple Music, right? No. You can't get Shit. anything. Your emojis will suck. Ah! I don't care about the emojis. I don't, I'm not, I'm a dude. It's, it's either, I'm use, I use two. I use the purple eggplant mm -hmm. and a splash um, that I'm, it's ejaculation on someone, whoever mm -hmm. that is. Right. Uh, Dude-wise in my life. So if you're a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. That's what you get every time. And now they made a new squiggly face. So now it's, I use three at the end of those. It's purple eggplant, splash, and then squiggly face so that I'm coming on their face. Oh, okay. Um, and it's only dudes. I send that to you. And uh, it makes me laugh and it makes them feel uncomfortable. And I, I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm send sure. send a kiss face after that, but yeah. Yeah, but I'm sure they have a, uh, those, those three emojis on that phone. I'm sure they do, right? Yeah, but they like come up shittier like the way that they look on the other side when you get anyway yeah huh. look who cares <laughs> do what you want to do you're just not gonna have the superior product of an apple uh, and they will, will let you know at every turn <sighs> when you try and do something on that phone that you normally do they will let you know oh boy yeah, yeah i yeah, think yeah, the yeah, podcast yeah, yeah. app is something different too it is yeah but I, I will say this: I hate I hate Apple's podcast app. Yeah, the interface it. is fucking stupid, Sucks. and it's garbage. And the fucking photos change back and forth. And, yeah, uh, that's something they didn't get right either. But um, I don't know. I, I'll think it over. Um, the Apple Music thing would really fuck my my whole bee hole. Uh, I wonder if you can get it on there. I don't know. I mean, I'll do I some more research. I support you either way. This fight isn't over. This fight is not over, kids. I'm uh, I'm still I still want that Razor phone. I really do. I just want to flip that open, and it's almost like me flipping everybody else off, you know. Mm -hmm. Razor, right? Um, I would be God if they were a sponsor. I'd be the best fucking wingman for them of all time. I would send them this episode. First Maybe I will. Forty minutes. <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Uh, sorry, guys. There's things that I am passionate about in this life: running for the school board, Razor phone, my children, and my wife. And that is it in this world. I really, I made it, I made it on that list. Barely. Well, it's not, <laughs> I it's, it's, it's it out of order. I at the bottom, huh? Didn't number it, didn't number that list. Um, it felt in order, though. Nope, it wasn't. It wasn't at all, so. Okay. Anywho, uh, our sponsors are in order, though. Uh, first and foremost, talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Do you want to lie down? Make a little on a mattress. Do it on a ghost barrel. But douche douche. But do do douche douche. Love it. Um ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. I got that pay as you go program that is really rocking them dicks. Thirty eight bucks a month. Doing them shits. Rocking them dicks and doing them shits. Yeah. Could that be a cool song for them or probably not. Oh. Um I take that into a producer. What it was? What was it? I forgot it. I'd auto tune it. Um, probably rewrite it a little bit. Maybe get a writer on there Rocking too. them dicks and doing them shits on a ghost bed. On a ghost bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it's backslash. Is it backslash forward slash? Forward slash. Oh. You want to talk about a backslash? I got. Nope. I got a. I don't. We should, cause I've got one for you that's gonna alter your mind. I had a phone call last night. We're talking. We're talking about backslash backslash in a second here. Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash string of rose. We are actually, this is so fucked up. 
Um, First, go to the internet. I'm really wrestling with this one. I need to open the an internet. Honest opinion, <laughs> and we we can sh- we can ask our listeners because um, this. Oh no! I don't want to affect them either. Um, go to bed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get yourself a mattress. The pillows are amazing. Uh, their Black Friday deal is is it might as well come with a black ski mask because you're fucking stealing it from them. Um, if you're a military or a first responder, you get 15% off forever. There's nothing more important than a good night's sleep other than getting that D suck. I wouldn't. Sir, um, I thought I was on another show. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Go there today and uh, get yourself uh, equipped with a nice mattress, some pillows, and a cover. And just in case you're rocking them dicks and dropping them shits, right? Rocking that, a, rocking those dicks and dropping them shits. I don't think it's dropping. Did I say dropping? Yeah, you shits? did. You said dropping like them shitting? shits. I don't know. Doing them, sh- doing those shits. D- doing them shits. Either doing way. them shits. Yeah, dude, you're shitting on a bed. You're shitting on a mattress. Is what you're saying. Ghost bed loves it, dude. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Well, because uh, they have that cover, you can do whatever you want on there. Yeah, you shit on it. If you're into dump out on it. Yeah, my fave. S- Scat porn. Scat porn. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to get off of that. Uh, <laughs> next up is StrikeForceEnergy.com. This is it, kids. I'm holding it right now in my hand. Yeah, I'm wiggling it. I'm wiggling it right towards the mic. I'm going to tap that mic with it. Um, tasty, tiny little tin pouch full of energy. This is it, kids. Put this in your pocket and forget about it, dude. Boom, I'm going to be drinking that shit at the game next week. Penn State, Ohio State, you will be there. We will be there. I will be there. I'm trying to lock down some money, yes, right now. If I can lock down this one, I'd be so stoked. Um, either way, I'm going to be needing that for the weekend. Going to be a lot of drinking, a lot of early drinking. Richard Denoff, I will be at your tailgates early as fuck. I love you. You throw one of my favorite tailgates in the goddamn country, and I'm so pissed off that this is an early game because yours is a tailgate that you should enjoy all day long with Strike Force. I have know. eight to ten hours worth of drinking, and he makes the best fucking moonshine too. That apple moonshine. He makes these gummy that bears. That apple moonshine. That are like I know you're my favorite person soaked. on the planet, Richard. And I'm sorry. This everything that he hands you is alcoholic and good. Yes. And I know. I know. the food is awesome. I know. The people are awesome. The locale. I know. So we will be there, Richard. We will be there with Strike Force, and uh, I, I'm going to need my own uh, jar of moonshine because I'm just, I'm just drink that the entire day since. Since they forced me to do it. I think we should drink, grab a uh, mason jar of it and drink it all the way to the front of doing. the stadium and just be like, fuck you, motherfuckers. Yeah, like right before we come in. A lot of those Penn State fans, I'm glad you mentioned that. A lot of the Penn State fans mentioned on Twitter, I'm glad this is a, new, a noon game so Ohio State fans can't get super drunk and super loud and cheer their fucking faces off. You're wrong. I'm drinking moonshine We're with Richard Dunoff. I'm getting fucked up. And I'm, that's going to be the drunkest you will ever see me at a game ever. Yeah. And uh, you did this to me, Fox. Yeah. If it was a night game, we would have been polite. Not anymore. That's out the window, my dude. Since they uh, passed a bill in, in San Francisco saying it's, it's now legal to piss in the streets, I'm going to drink all day, get a flight to San Francisco that night, and just unleash four to five gallons worth of urine down Lombard Street. And yeah, uh, let that zigzag all the way down. Yeah, man. Uh, but go to strikeforceenergy.com, promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Last but not least, Jabes, uh, this is what they came for. Give it to them. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you like it? Yeah, I do like it. I got confirmation. Ukrainian dwarves love straight razors. They love shaving bushes with straight razors. I got a confirmation from one yesterday. Okay. So I feel confident that um, I can say that moving forward. And um, I want to say that this is probably the official brand for all Ukrainian dwarves everywhere. Uh, They get everything for a man in this life, a real man. Get yourself a shaving kit. It's like the nicest fucking thing you could get for a man in this life. Yeah, true. Brooch up. Gooch up, shave up that that's uh, their aftershave smolder is the greatest goddamn thing ever. When I run out of that, I feel like my face is is naked and raped. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I try to buy I try to buy as many bottles as I can. Get that and give that a shot. Their cologne smolder is amazing too. If you're worried about using a straight razor, 
They get safety razors. They're the same as your real razor, but the blade's better. So it lasts longer. Go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off today. Get it. Get it. Get it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, a little pissed off this morning, Jabes. I think you start my morning right. What's up? I know you went to the gym. Did you go for a run this morning? Walk. Walk. So I watched the, our youngest child, mm-hmm. uh, who's one. Yes. I refuse to talk about him in months after that, you know, because it's stupid. Well, he's 14 months. He's 80 but months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 90 months old, whatever. He's, he's one. He's over one years old. Uh, mm-hmm. when, he, when he turns two, then he'll be two. Um, either or. Uh, when I'm watch, watching the child while you go to the gym in the mornings, I like to flip on uh, some of the new, morning news shows and kind of get a feel for what's going on. Something flirty in America. Something light. I just want light things in the morning. Mm-hmm. I don't want heavy sh- shit raining down on me to start the day. I don't want that. I want something light, right? Okay. Uh, chances are I've watched the Sports Center that's already airing, so I don't go there, right? right? I just want some light news. This morning was all preempted. It was fucking every network was the goddamn in- impeachment coverage. Mm. Blah. So I get Did forced. Did they even cover that shooting or was it all in no, no, and we'll get to that in a second. And I was like, whoa, man, you're just breaking into this. There was a school shooting yesterday in California, mm-hmm. in Santa Clarita. Mm-hmm. Um, you know the high school. Yeah, Saugus. We shot in Santa Clarita, Clarita a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that town community very well. Uh, most of those movie sets for all of my movies, we're, we, we shoot in Santa Clarita. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a smaller town, obviously. Yeah, I mean it's, uh, you know, it's not Los LA. Angeles it's not Los adjacent, Angeles. Yeah. but yeah. It's so it's, it's outside the city of Los yeah. Angeles, and is it's outside of Hollywood, obviously. So right. I, I was, I, I kind of wanted to recap on that, you know, um, and I know that's a little heavy. You're saying, hey, I don't want to go that heavy, but uh, I wanted a recap on that. I it disappeared from Twitter, disappeared from every major news network, everything to go for these impeachment hearings, and I, I'm I was pissed about it, right? And I'm like, fuck you guys. How, wh- why is this so important? So I started watching it, right? Mm-hmm. Watch maybe a ha- first half hour, 45 minutes of it. G- garbage from both sides. It, it, there is nothing to do here. There is nothing to see here. And this is going to be a colossal mistake. Now that I've watched a little bit of it, I can wholeheartedly tell you now this is going to be a colossal mistake. The same way, by the way, if you think that I'm just saying this for Trump or Republicans, I'm not. I think the same exact thing happened to Clinton mm-hmm. where you had this big, stupid fucking impeachment trial and I think it hurt the Republicans really bad in that next election. Remember the Bush-Gore election came down to like the hanging chads in Florida? Mm-hmm. It should never have been that close because Al Gore was so fucking boring. It, it would have been Bush's by like five or six points. You wouldn't have had to deal with that shit, but I think people were pissed off. Mm-hmm. That they were paying for this stupid impeachment thing that was a waste of time and everyone's money. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I think the Republicans lost a lot more seats uh, in the House and all of that shit. And, and that Bush election was stupidly close, which it shouldn't have been um, because of how boring Al Gore was. And, and they went all in. Republicans went all in on the impeachment. And I think that's happening now. And by the way, in between that, to just to show what would really happen in, a, in, a, in an election without the impeachment shit... The, the last boringest candidate I can think of was Mitt Romney, mm-hmm. which is a fucking snooze, right? Even McCain at least said some weird shit, got a little out of hand because he was old. Sure. Um, he hired Sarah Palin yeah. last minute. Like, I think that was the main thing, but yeah. But, but you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, at least there was, he was entertaining. And you were like, eh, fuck, we'll find out what happens. Whereas Mitt Romney was John Legend. He was a white John Legend. Mm-hmm. Snooze fest. Bagel, right. plain bagel. And that election played out exactly the way it probably should have with Obama winning because you were up against a boring candidate and the, the Democrats are having a really hard time with the same thing right now, right? Now that you've gone all in on this, now that I've physically watched it, you're fucked. You guys are absolutely fucked. If this does not work, you are fucked. I'm pissed off. I can't imagine when everybody else is like, I'm flipping through the channels and let's just think about house moms and, and housewives and things like that, right? Mm-hmm. And moms who are home, you're ripping all their programming away. Kelly and Ripa's gone, dude. Mm-hmm. Gone. Or uh, Kelly and Ryan. Kelly and Ryan, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, K- Kelly and Ripa. Well, that's that's her and her, but um, <laughs> well, it's, sometimes it is. It's her. It's her. Um, but that's gone. The fucking uh, Today Show gone. The Good Morning America gone. All all of it they across were the board. 
they had cut into that the whole yes time. Mm-hmm. at nine o'clock sharp boom they preempted and went all the way in and i was right. just like fuck and i'm up at you know eight o'clock seven forty five or eight this morning mm-hmm. um and you got to watch a little bit of of the news and things that were going on and like the uh, the light stuff and then there was just a hard cut now yeah we're cutting into the impeachment sorry there's nothing you can do and or watch the rest of the day then i saw the thing with the the days of our lives being canceled or uh, did you see that every actor was fired from days of our lives yes actor crew Why? member everything go Why? on I, I the only thing i can think of is that it's probably preempted i don't think they can afford to keep that show in the air yeah i guess i wonder because where does it go like if you're thinking about it, if you're a daytime soap right yeah you don't know how long this thing is gonna go what's how long are you gonna be on the air for and what's the cost of filming shows that no one can possibly see unless you go online? Because they're not rerunning them later. It's not like they're saying, oh, come back tonight at 7. No, shit's on at 7, bro. Yeah. And I was like, huh. Hmm. Yeah, look up Days of Our Lives. It is gone. Yeah. It, it, and they were like, oh, we might re- recast, time. but we're going on a, a hiatus. I can tell you what that means in Hollywood speak. You're going on a hiatus, you're, you're saying aloha, bitches. You're not coming back. So the move comes at a precarious time for ratings challenged days. Mm-hmm. And that's what that is? Okay. So if you're, if you're challenged in the ratings and no one can physically see your show because their impeachment shit is on, if you're a network, you got to cut that show. Yeah. And that sucks. Because you're covering all of this shit all the time. All of it that everybody else is already covering. Mm-hmm. Same way with that. Um, what's the fucking hurricane coverage here? We had yeah. the hurricane coverage and it was like, it was the opening NFL game and they cut that, uh, cut all of it out. And I was like, I just watched it on an app and I was like, man, you're really just asking for me to say, fuck you local news and, and get rid of all my shit. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, and I left, went to work after that. No big deal. But to everybody else who's got to be at home, who doesn't want to watch this, what are you going to watch? I'm sure the cooking channel n- network is through the roof. Mm-hmm. The ratings for that. When does Chip and you Joanna can start? Always count on when's their network. Yeah, I think it's in the works now. I mean, they're close because I know they're filming a ton of stuff. Yeah, um, and I do want to go stay at that hotel, by the way. But they're going to destroy. Oh, dude, they're amazing people. They deserve everything they have. You know, so it's funny. I I tapped in with one of them through a mutual friend of ours. Who's, who knows them? Mm-hmm. And I said, what's the real story? I, I just said, there's got to be bullshit, right? They're miserable and they hate each other or whatever. And he's like, no, mm-hmm. it's the opposite. Like their life is amazing and they're amazing people. And I was mm-hmm. like, holy shit, for real? He's like, yeah. And, and he's it's like, Chip that wants all those kids. Yeah. She's like, dude, calm down. And he's like, no, dude, I want six. If you're rich, you can afford it. Um, so, I guess. Uh, but what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Either way, uh, I love them. The, the the hype is real on those guys. Yeah, and this is a a, a friend, and in, in, you know, I got it confirmed through pictures and text messages and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, man, I was just like, shit. Therefore, when they start up this network, hopefully, hopefully it's soon. <laughs> they will. Yeah, destroy I think it's Earth. soon. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna the Magnolia Network or whatever. I wonder if it's gonna come kind of standard with cable or yeah, probably like pop. TV or something. Yeah, probably. Um, I think it's a, I love like it. a you division of count. HGTV. And something. that's a lot of the times why, that's why I started watching <clears throat> like the cooking channel and HGTV and all of that is because you can always count on them to just be lighthearted mm-hmm. and on and nothing ever gets broken in. Like, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. always, you feel good, right? Yeah. Um, you do. And uh, look, they, they, I think they probably have the most to gain out of, out of all of these people, these other channels. So, man, um, Fieri will just keep getting bigger too, man. For real. Fieri. I, I'd watch diners, drive-ins, and dives all day over the bullshit that was on this morning. Oh, yeah. For real. I, it was Grocery games. It was, it's pure madness. If you pop in and watch, you know, and I hate this shit too, but just watch like 15, 20 minutes of one of those hearings that's on ABC, NBC, every other network. Try to get through it and, uh, and see if you can because it's the dumbest shit of all time. Um, last night, I want to talk about last night because uh, things got crazy last night. Like really fucking crazy. So I watch all of these games football-wise and all that stuff for Drinking Bros Sports. 
Dan and I host a sports show, and one of our biggest sponsors is, is uh, mybookie.com. Mm-hmm. And we enjoy throwing a little cash on the game here and there. Nothing crazy, nothing that you could lose your fucking house over. Uh, just some, something to make it a little interesting, right? But we talk about the games every week, and we go through these teams, and we talk about what happened, and it is important either that we're at the games themselves or watch the games uh, in full because you don't know what's going to happen, and one play here or there could change season or a spread or gambling or affect the league. Last night's game was a sh- on paper was a shitty game. It was Cleveland versus uh, the Steelers. Now, in real life, it's typically a rivalry. Steelers lost their quarterback, um, and they lost their running back, and one of the wide receivers got a cushion. Like, they don't have anybody playing anymore, so it is not the, the best of the best playing each other. But gambling-wise, no one cares about that, right? Because there's spreads to cover, and somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. There's an over-under, which is why you have to watch the entire game. You have to see if they break those points or not. Last night, though, with eight seconds left in the game, was the craziest shit I've ever seen in an NFL game, and everyone is talking about it today. The, there was a guy named Miles uh, Garrett um, for the Cleveland Browns, who is the, he was the number one pick in the draft about two years ago. And eight seconds left, no reason for this. They were up by 14 points. He rips the, corner, the quarterback's helmet off his head and then bashes his head in with the helmet. People were fucking outraged. They've been outraged all day. Uh, a lot of people were calling for jail time. Mm. A, a helmet is extremely heavy. So what was, why? Um, it, it appeared, and I, 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 they're going to have to have some form of trial or go through this. It appeared as if the quarterback for Mason Rudolph for the, the Steelers was trying to pull off the other guy's helmet or maybe they got tangled up. I'm not really sure because it they were on the bottom of the ground, so I, I, don't, I don't know what was said to one another. I didn't make sense of it. However, the other guy got up, tore off the quarterback's helmet, and bashed him in the head with it. There is memes endlessly now on Drinking Bros Sports. We finally had to just say, hey, the, we, you can't post these anymore. Um, it is the the biggest meme of the century. The The jail time thing is interesting because his agent of the quarterback today said, we're exploring options here of what a possible lawsuit is. I don't know when you're swinging a blunt object at somebody's head and you connect. Yeah. I don't know because it's your, you're in a game. I've never seen anything like it. I, I want to say that this... You definitely can't do that. This is... This, this, they, they've now suspended this guy yeah. the entire year yeah. and they don't know what they're going to do with him next year so that is undecided some people are calling for jail um the nfl obviously suspended him indefinitely both teams got fined a quarter million dollars a piece this is all going on right now um the now the most interesting part about this again shitty game with two shitty teams that are not going they don't have a shot to win the super bowl the ratings ended up being massive. For that, yeah. What do you do? Mm. Hockey, you can kick the shit out of anybody, and you get a five-minute penalty. You can knock people out cold. Yeah. But with what? A Your helmet? Fist. There you Your go. fists. Your fists. So, there you go. I bet if somebody took their helmet off and bashed someone, someone's face in, in hockey, it would have the same result or any other sport you can't yeah do that there's one thing getting chippy and starting to fight and stuff and there's another of like but it, it's uh it, so on his bare head. head on his bare head and it, it's um it's great the guy ended up being fine and he gave a press conference afterwards but uh i've never seen anything like that i've seen somebody rip off somebody's helmet and throw it or yeah or put Punch after that, right? Get into a fight after that. So, wait. But with the... So the guy that he... Once he swung it over the other dude's head, his teammate came in, tackled him to the ground, and then started punching him in the head, then got up and kicked him in the head. Um, he got three games suspension. Like mm. This was the craziest shit ever with eight seconds left in a game that was meaningless. Um, there, it was over, too. Like They were up by two touchdowns. Can't do anything. Eight seconds left um, at the end of the thing. 
pure utter chaos. I've never seen anything like it. I, I wanted to talk about it here because I've gotten so many messages about it today. But uh, yes, just know that I was up and physically watching what that game, s- and I was shocked. I mean, we'll see what happens. And I texted with it. my buddy. Um, this is we're in fantasy football, and uh, I texted Brandon. I was like, "Hey, man, are you watching this game?" He's like, "No, man, I'm at a fucking friend's birthday party. He's like, it looks like a shitty game." And I was like, "It is until this happened." And he goes, "Well, how insane was the fight?" And I was like, "Bro." Dude. I will recommend this. Go to the bathroom and open up Twitter and just look at this fight and tell me if you've ever seen anything like it. And he goes, of course he did. Yes. And he hit me back five minutes later and he goes, holy fuck. Holy fuck. And he's like, this is bananas all in like all caps where you're just like, <laughs> when you start quoting Gwen Stefani as a dude in all caps. And spelling it. Yes. That mm-hmm. means you have no other explanation for what you just saw. So uh, wild. I did see it. Um, my thoughts real quick are this. Yes, he should be suspended indefinitely. Probably the rest of the season. Uh, Perfect got the rest of the season for uh, a hit. We talked about that on the Revolutionary Figure of the Week a few weeks ago. Mm. This is even more revolutionary than that because I've never seen somebody rip a helmet off and bash another guy's face in. I probably think you would push this into four games of next year as well, Uh, regular season games. That is my personal hot take on it. You don't have to send me any more messages. I got a million this morning. Um, the other thing that I want to, I want to chat about is uh, I know we've been talking about this impeachment show a long time um, on FX with Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky. Yes. The only character that I did not hear announced yet was who was playing Bill Clinton. Mm. We have our Bill Clinton as of this, this morning. It's one of my favorites. Mm. Clive Owen. Wow. Yeah. Interesting daddy choice. Yes. He was one of the OG daddies, yeah. He's looked 50 forever, but he's yeah, always he's, been great looking. Yeah. Yeah. But and he's been the OG daddy. You and I were sitting together, intertwined fingers on the couch like we always do. Um, I think you just finished feeding could me not get Could not get close enough to each other. Unless I was inside of you. Just wanted to engulf myself yeah. with your love. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were probably on separate couches. Yep. On our phones, but what happened? Um, <laughs> we saw a commercial with Clive Owen, and we were yeah. like, ah, what the fuck happened to Clive Owen? Oh, yeah, like, what? Oh, that why? kind of a member him kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, but it was like, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Where, where did he go, and why did he do what yeah, he did? Yeah, I don't know. I don't either. Um, either way, he's back, and he's playing Clinton. I bet he had a problem. He seems like the kind of guy that had problems with the juice. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, you know what? That, that was the way I felt when I saw Thomas Jane in that trailer last night. When I was just like, ah. Tom, oh yeah. Uh, I love Thomas Jane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had a problem with that juice. He had a problem with that juice. Couldn't stay off that booger sugar. Um, and uh, now that we have this Clinton, you can go ahead and give him all the awards. I bet Clive Owen's a fantastic actor. Really good. Uh, it's a really interesting choice. Do we know any of the other? Everything this else is, is cast. Yeah. Everything else is cast. Uh-huh. So we know Monica? Yes. Um, I said it on the show. Uh, Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, Sarah Paulson is going to be playing Linda Tripp. Um, oh, that's right. I think I remember that. Beanie Feldstein will play Monica Lewinsky. So this, I, I said this, right? And I said it was an unknown. I was incorrect mm. on this, and I want to backtrack this statement. You ready for your mind to be altered? Yeah. She was the girl in Booksmart. She was the lead in Booksmart, right? Everybody loved this movie, Booksmart. Um, it did not do that well. Oh, it's Jonah Hill's sister. Yes. And she's going by Beanie Feldstein. Mm-hmm. Well, she was in, uh, yeah, the Booksmart. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think she was in Lady Bird too, right? Uh, Maybe I don't not. know. Probably Either not. way. Um, that's what threw me off when I was like, oh, they got an unknown. Nope. She just changed her name. It's Jonah Hill's sister. Or did Jonah Hill change his name? I don't know. Uh, wh- I don't know. I mean, I always commend when somebody doesn't try and go off of the no, name. I don't. I don't. You use don't. It. Hollywood is full of nepotism. That's that's always. Yeah, the way she it's was been. in Lady Bird. I remember her in that movie because I, I don't know. I liked her. But anyway, uh, look, she's a good actress. She's really funny. She's good. Yes, I'm not yeah. saying anything negative about it. Interesting for Monica Lewinsky, but well, yeah. I mean, look, they do a great job with makeup remember that's uh it's not even really makeup it's her but yeah i mean obviously acting is acting but um yeah but makeup she has wise, been kind of the same in everything that i've seen her in very like you know outspoken kind of 
funny, loud girl. Monica Lewinsky's cool, though. I think she's a lot cooler than everybody knows. I'll say that. Okay. Um, I will say that. So, uh, yeah, uh, but that and Clive Owen, yeah. Uh, yes, I could. Yeah. Uh, all of this is going to work, and it's going to be fantastic. Absolutely. But uh, that was a that's a banger. That's a banger to drop, dude. Clive, Clive is back. I support it. I really do too. I love him as an actor. He's great. Uh, do we have a crime corner, James? We do. Crime corner. Crime corner. <laughs> Crime Corner. Um, this is brought to us from Detectives Michael Rotolo. Do you remember Rotolo? Yeah. From New Orleans? Yes. Every once in a while, we'll like meet fans that you're like, dude, we could bro. Yeah. We could like bro yeah, out. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, he was one of those. He's Rato- rad. Rotolo. You're rad, dude. He's fucking and, awesome. And Greg Fox. I don't think I've met you yet, but I'm sure we'd fucking. Foxy. I'm sure we'd party, bro. Foxy. So we've done a story like this before. I love that it just keeps happening. But New Orleans resident Mm. accused of posing as handicapped man to get home health care. And diapers changed and stuff. Oh, I here we go again. I'm a big fan of these. Because what did we say last time? Victimless crime. Yep. You're going to do it anyways. They're getting paid. They're getting paid. They're going to do it to someone anyways. So what if the guy isn't really handicapped? He's yeah. paying you. Yeah. You would be changing someone's diaper anyway. Yes. So um, so the state police have arrested a suspect accused of posing as handicapped man. The way that he did it was kind of not clever, but uh, Rory Deus, 29, okay. he faces 10 counts of sexual battery. Okay, human human trafficking being one of them because it was like labor. A bit much. I mean, they're really throwing the book at this guy. Huh. Um, so the trooper's investigation revealed that Deus reportedly used social media advertisements to obtain home health care for his mentally and physically handicapped uh eighteen year old brother named Corey. Now he is Rory. Ah. So he wasn't too imaginative with like changing his name up. Sure. But his brother was Corey. Um, and upon arranging for home health care provider, Deus would allegedly then p- pose as Corey. Okay. While allowing the health care provider to change his adult diaper while he was aroused uh, under the false pretenses of being handicapped. Okay. Um, so there's probably a lot more victims than this one. But yeah. again... You know, I know it sounds a little bit bad, but... Was he getting off? I mean, so allowing the care provider to change his adult diaper and obtain sexual arousal. But does arousal go to completion is what I want to know. I don't know. They don't say that. Well... They don't say. To change a diaper, right? We, we know this because we, we obviously have two children. One is still in diapers. Mm-hmm. You have to lift sure. up the dick and balls right. uh, for a man. Like, mm-hmm. Not a baby, obviously. Yep. But for a man, you would, you would have to to get to those areas mm-hmm. to clean the gooch. And so I guess he gets aroused, so he'll get. Well, if, if a woman is grabbing his dick mm-hmm. to get it out of the way, to change him, because I'm assuming it's not one of those stitches where you can lay on a table and you kick your legs back over your head. I mean, not back over your head, no. That's what you do for baby. Yeah, but I don't know how they do it. You lift the legs up in the air? Like, yeah. how do you do that for an adult man? Do you, There's got to be some kind of, like, lay Because you would have to get them the out of the wheelchair. Down. Yeah, lay them down. I don't know if he's in a wheelchair. They were just saying he's physically, mentally handicapped. Okay. That's what he's saying to them. Okay, so... If he's already in the bed, and let's assume that. Sure. Let's assume that he's already in that bed. Yeah, I think that's kind of probably how it goes. Do you try to lift their legs up? Because you got to get those crevasses, obviously, um, mm-hmm. to get the duke out of there. Right. Uh, and then if you're trying to... If you're, if you're holding the dick up and balls, because that's obviously going to get in the way of, of that. And it's probably, it's probably a little messy itself, right? Mm-hmm. What are you trying to figure out with this train of thought? That 
Like you're just like he could get an erection. Really I don't think deep. he could get all. Like I, yeah, I no. So in my mind, listen. I don't think he, I don't think he, get I think fully he complete. gets an erection. Okay. But I don't think that's uncommon, even if he was handicapped. That's my, that's my question. So if, if you are handicapped, mentally so handicapped, he's, you know, you not get that he's getting aroused, but you know, you're what? If you're mentally handicapped, do you get boners? Do you get erections? Yeah. You do? All the time. More than you should. Are, are you serious? What do you mean, am I serious? I didn't know. I didn't, I, I'm being, I don't know this. Yeah. Why? What do you mean, why? I would think that your brain kind of shuts off sexual. No. It does not? Mm-mm. From, oh, man. So they get more boners than normal people? Yeah, inappropriate and more, depending on your capacity. Like if you're, um, if he's like, Saying that he's 19 or whatever, and oh. he has the mental capacity of like a 14, 13 year old, whatever. So think about the regression. I don't know. Yeah. So, yes, that's very common. So, the, oh. these caregivers. I just assumed no on that one. I just no. assumed, like, hey, man, you couldn't. Uh, oh. Even when you're paraplegic, you can. I understand that. Okay. But mentally r- retarded, I didn't know you could. Oh, yeah. So I thought you would think yourself into a boner, you know? Like, oh, hey, this person's attractive, like, you know? Their brains work. Yes. It's just at a lower level, like IQ-wise or whatever. So they they work. I didn't know if it was sexually. All the things. How that works. All the things that your brain does. Man, I'm going to need some confirmation on this from somebody out there, a doctor. Um. Go ahead. I'm having a hard time with uh, believing anything you're saying right now. There's someone. It's true. Uh, our producer said he works at a group home. Yeah. And that's true. There is someone Eesh. in our neighborhood that is. Okay. Mentally uh, challenged. Yes. And they have, they have boners. It's a problem that they have in public that every time. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And they'll start to just, just play with it right there. Got it. Because they also have no, you yep. know, the brain also shuts off some shame yep. things and some, you know, social. So what started as a fun, flirty story to me now is very tragic. And um, why, James? I'm going to be honest. You're two for two of just ruining my day on these crime corners now. The last one, I just got out of my mind maybe an hour before we went on air. Uh, with the the diarrhea bucket. Uh-huh. Um, now this one's gonna haunt my dreams for the entire weekend because it's Friday. Mm-hmm. This show comes out on Sunday. We we typically record on Fridays. I I just lost my Friday night wood here, and right. um, well, mission accomplished. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and give the revolutionary figure today to Paul Bunyan then, because uh, he's the only one chopping wood right now. Right. You know. That's, uh, that was a boner killer, James, for me. Whew. I'm a little sweaty, too, now. Like, this is not what I expected to hear out of your mouth today. And uh, I think we should turn off the program now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, there's a new logo out. <laughs> now I'm ashamed she's on it. And she's dirtying our nice, nice, fine show that we used to have with uh, these horrific crime corners. And uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.